Hi hi and good evening. I'm Alice and today I'm going to show you how to make an AI driven radar system which is able to detect and warn against incoming enemies as well as launch defensive drones in response. So let's get right into it. Now there are a few things that you will be needing when making the radar system similar to this one. You will be needing a rotor an AI flight block, an AI offensive block, a thruster, an event controller, and a beacon. You should also have a control panel so that you're able to interface with the radar. You can also choose whether or not to build this in small or large grid. However, in my case, I used small grid. So going through this step by step, you will first have to place down your rotor. Then you remove the large rotor head and place down your control panel. Once that is done, you locate the rotor and add a small rotor head. Then, once all of that is done, you can place down your AI flight block, followed by the offensive block, then your thruster, your event controller, and lastly, your beacon. Now, you can always make this look a lot nicer, for example, like this one. However, this is the very basic that you will need in order to detect enemies. So once we have our blocks placed down, we need to configure the radar system. Then we can go ahead and start by putting our rotor velocity at, for example, five rounds per minute. Now this will be important for what comes next. Then let's go to our event controller. Now, in the event controller, you need to select the event thrust percent, which is at the bottom of the list, equal or greater than, and then set the threshold to roughly 1%. Once that is done, select your atmospheric thruster and add it to the selected blocks. Then you select actions, find your beacon, drag it down to action one, and select toggle on. Now it is important to then make sure to turn your beacon off so that it then lights up when an enemy is detected. So let's also go ahead and call this beacon enemy detected, similarly to the other one. Then we need to go to our AI flight block. Here we will need to turn AI behavior on, collision avoidance off, and it doesn't really matter if you turn precision mode on or off. However, I just prefer to have it on. Then you just crank up the speed limit to 100 meters a second. Then the last thing we need to do is go to our AI offensive block and configure it the way we want it. You can select whether or not you want it to be able to target enemies at neutrals, target characters, and what sort of grids you want it to target as well as how often you wanted to search for a new target. So let's go ahead and drop that time down to 15 seconds. And let's have it target the weapons subsystem. Then do make sure to put the attack pattern to intercept with whatever guidance system you prefer. Then once it is set up, you can turn on AI behavior and as you can see it was able to detect small grid 9579 which is the grid located right over there. Now the way it works is that the flight block as the rotor turns it around fires the thruster to try and get over to the enemy grid and so when the thruster blasts away our event controller is able to detect that it's outputting more than 1% thrust. So that is the general basics of how the radar system works. But if we're detecting an enemy, we're probably being attacked, right? So we want to be able to launch drones in defense. So once you have the radar system fully set up the way you want it, it is time to set up our drone launch system. So what you will need is another event controller. 
Now you can also use the one that you are using for the enemy detection. However, I just prefer to have a, another one. So I'm using my patrol drone from the how to make a patrol drone video, which I recommend watching to learn more about setting up the drones themselves. But to give you a quick rundown, here is how you set up your defensive drone. Now, first things first, we want the drone to be able to return back to our little station here after having dispatched of the enemy. So we're going to go ahead and record a landing path by grabbing our AI recorder block and having the add waypoint function function down on our toolbar. So let's go ahead and create the very first waypoint before making our way down to the connector, pushing us all the way down against it before getting waypoint number two. Then once that is done, we want to set up our waypoints. So select your very first waypoint, which is the one above the connector and find the AI flight block, bring it down and make sure to turn collision avoidance off when it's coming into land. Then go to waypoint one, go ahead and get a timer block or a connector drag it down and have it to start. Then once the recorded path is done, we will need to set up a few timer blocks and we will start with the timer block I've titled connect. In this one, you want to have it lock the connector, turn the battery on recharge and turning off the AI behavior for the offensive block on the drone. Then you want to set up another timer, which I've called launch, which does the following. Unlocks the connector, turns on the AI behavior for a basic task block, turns the battery off of recharge, and starts the timer of a timer block I've titled after launch. Now, to solve the final piece of the puzzle, all we will need now is a GPS point close to our home base that the drone can return home to. Let's just call it radar base. Then once we have our GPS location, we go back to our drone, go into our basic task block, select the objective autopilot with the mode one way, locate our GPS location, and then add it to the waypoints. Now, on the waypoint for the radar base, you want to make sure you set up the action for the A recorder to play the recording. So what we have essentially done is that when we launch the drone, it'll try to head up to the GPS point for the radar base. However, before it manages to reach the radar point, it will toggle on the offensive block, which overrides any form of recorder blocks or waypoint blocks. And so it'll go and engage the enemy. And because it was unable to reach the waypoint, it'll try to go back to it, which will then cause the drone to start the landing recording once it arrives at the GPS point and then land back at the radar station. And so with all of this ready to go, make sure that you turn on the AI behavior of your AI flight block, as well as turn off collision avoidance to begin with. Then we're going to go back into our radar system find our second event controller. Let's just call it launching drone. Here we want to select the block on off event and find our beacon. So let's just go ahead and search for it. There is beacon enemy detected. Add that block and then in selected actions, let us go ahead and get the launch 
timer block and select trigger now. Then if we go ahead and turn our beacon off, we will quickly see that it'll turn back on again once it picks up the enemy before then launching our drone. Now trying to move up to the GPS, it'll quickly detect the enemy drone before then engaging its attack. Now whilst the drone is on its way, we're able to see that the enemy drone is two whole kilometers away and the radar is still able to pick it up. So as you can see, our defensive drone has begun engaging the target. Moving in. And then because we turned collision, avoid collision avoidance on, it was able to evade. So once it has reached its target break of distance, it's going to return back in and try to finish the job. Then the moment it's finished, it begins its return back to base. As we can see, it is arriving at the GPS point. And the moment it arrives, it'll start the recorded landing path. Before going back in to land at our radar station. Now, there are various ways that you can have the radar reset itself with everything from timer blocks to event controllers. Now, if we were to look inside our radar, we're able to see that it is no long longer picking up the enemy, simply because it has been destroyed. So, if we go into our event controller for detecting an enemy, go into the actions, select the beacon, and then put it to turn off. Then the moment the offensive block stops detecting an enemy, the AI flight block will stop trying to thrust towards it, which will then in turn turn off the beacon. Now that the whole system is complete, let us test it one more time. So now that all of our systems have been assembled, let's go ahead and test it one more time. So I've pasted in another enemy drone, this time a little bit closer than the last one. And the moment we turn on our AI offensive block, we're able to see the system, the radar is able to detect it, launch our defensive drone, which is then able to fly over and begin intercepting. Then, the moment the drone is disabled, we can see that the thrust stops, and the event controller turns off the beacon, meaning that the radar is once again in a neutral state, able to be turned on and detect the next incoming enemy. So I would like to thank you all very much for watching. Be sure to push that like button if this was helpful in any way, shape or form. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more guides like this one. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!